What up, Detroit? It's Rob Parker. And coming up on Shop Talk, we debate, did the Lions make a mistake by not picking up Ray Rice? Also, Brady Hoke is gone. Who should be his replacement? And we have a sneaker challenge you don't want to miss. Shop Talk starts right now. Some people think the best place to talk about sports <laughs> is on the radio. No way, no how. It's in the barber shop. I should know. I'm a sports analyst. Detroit is a five-point favorite. Devin, save your money, I know. <laughs> and I own a barber shop in Detroit. And the cats in the barber shop, they think they know everything about sports. Get ready for Rob Parker's Shop Talk. Real sports, real talk. Shop Talk TV is brought to you by Bob Maxi Ford and by Wingstop. Also, Nick's Chips. This is Shop Talk. Welcome to Shop Talk on this Saturday. I'm Rob Parker. Let's kick it off with Getting Rob. Will you get my take on the biggest sports stories of the week? We start with the Pistons, who host the Philadelphia 76ers tonight at the Palace. This will be an interesting game. The Sixers just broke their 17-game losing streak to start the season. And now they take on the Pistons, who have lost 10 in a row. Pistons desperately need a win. Philadelphia is feeling good after one win. What's going to give? The baseball winter meetings start on Sunday in San Diego. Tigers are in the mix for a few things and out of the mix for a few things as well. First, Andrew Miller, the relief pitcher. Apparently, the Tigers are not in the mix to sign him. Uh, as far as in the mix, there's still talk that the Tigers could be the dark horse to pick up left-handed starter John Lester, who, of course, pitched with the A's and Red Sox last year. So that would be interesting if they were able to do something like that. And the last part is there's that trade rumor with Boston about Cespedes and Porcello. If I'm the Tigers, I make that deal. I get Cespedes if I could add him to my team. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell finally got one right when he did not find the St. Louis players who put their hands up in support of what happened in Ferguson this past week. I think the NFL's no fine was the right move. People should have the right to express themselves. Getting Robbed is sponsored by Fathead. For real. Now it's time for the big debate. It's sponsored by Bob Maxi, the only Ford and Lincoln Mercury dealer in downtown Detroit. To reach him, call 313-392-9200 or visit them on the web at BobMaxiFord.com. This week, Lions head coach Jim Caldwell said the Lions were, were not NOT interested in signing free agent running back Ray Rice, who's been reinstated by the league. Are the Lions making a mistake, Martin? They are at the bottom in rushing in the NFL. Here's a chance to maybe upgrade the running game to go along so that you're not one-dimensional just throwing a football. Would you take a chance? No. Absolutely no? not. Because Ray Rice isn't an upgrade to what they have right now. Ray Rice hasn't been good in the past two years. The last year he played, he was hurt. He went down on a non-contact injury in week three and was never the same. He's not better than Joy Bell. He's not better than Theo Riddick. And they already got a running back that can't stay healthy with Reggie Bush. So, so why not make the move? I don't, Julian, here's a chance. Reggie Bush hasn't had a good season for them. They're down at the bottom in the rushing. Why not take a chance? The Lions are trying to make a playoff run this year. Well, I don't know why the Lions would depend on Reggie Bush anyway. But, but, uh, to, to, to answer your question, um, he, it's, it's just not the time. It, it's, it's a distraction to the team. Um, people will be looking for Ray Rice coming into the locker room. The story will always be about Ray Rice. It will not be about their playoff run that they're on and have a chance to, to, to achieve. It will, all, it will just constantly just be about the, the, the idea of what Ray Rice did or, or, or what he's not doing and, and, and how the fans have responded to Ray Rice, how it is on the road. Um, it's just way too much of a distraction, especially for a player that didn't have a great season the past two seasons. Tate, you want, we want Ray Rice in the D? I would like to have Ray Rice here. See, you know? here's a here's a rogue guy saying he'll take the guy. Yeah, definitely, because he has a lot to prove. You know, um, once he gets on the field, show that he's a premier running back, 
at, like they, like he used to be, uh, and definitely with the Lions, they need him for the uh, rushing, you know, rushing yards because Reggie Bush is injured, you know, injury prone, and they're trying to make the playoff run. So I definitely would like to see Ray Rice on the team. Mo, you're the biggest Lions slappy in the shop. You want him to join the roster, you know help out the team? Yes, I do because he got a big, big point to prove. They, look, the line, the NFL, and try to blackball him now. Now he got his way back in there. Now he's, he want to hit a team, hit a team hard. He don't care about what anybody's thinking, the fans thinking, the other players, the coaches think. He want to hit that field, pick them yards up, and get another championship on that finger, okay? I'll tell you that. That's, what, that's what's on his mind right now. Nothing else. Well, there, there is motivation there if he were to get an opportunity. But, Martin, you got to admit, too, and, and, and this is true, that he would be the story and there was a distraction factor, and I don't think the Lions need distractions. I mean, they're... On the fence, Absolutely. even making the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, the Lions are tough, in, a, in a tough race in NFC right now. It's going to take 10, 11 wins to, to make it to the playoffs. They don't need any more distractions than they got right now. But the fact of the matter is, the distraction does not weigh the game. Now, if you're talking about Adrian Peterson, that's a different story. So you yeah. would make that happen. Yeah, but Ray Rice isn't worth all the noise. Well, you know, the Lions want to pass up on Ray Rice. Remember, they passed up on Honey Badger, remember? Mm -hmm. So think about it. Well, you know what? And the Lions have always played it safe, and, and that's always been their M.O., and, and I get it sometimes. In this case, I think I'm with the Lions. I think he would be toxic, and the dialogue, and you don't want protests outside Ford Field. You don't want fans bringing in signs and all kinds of stuff. I, I get it. And uh, Caldwell, of course, uh, was uh, in Baltimore with Ray Rice, so the idea that he doesn't want him says says a lot and and we might look back and think this would have been a golden opportunity for the Lions to step out the box. Yeah, stop trying to play it safe man. Playing safe and, and the Detroit fans don't care about that. All we want to do is win. You piss my team is going to win. As long as he's a winner we're happy. That's all we care about is winning right now man. We don't care about none of the other stuff. We, don't, we, we, we want W's okay. If we need, we're going to need that type of help to play against the Packers. I'll tell you that. All right well they're pay, making a pass taking a pass on uh, Ray Rice. I think it's the right move. But we'll see. I don't think he's going to play this year anyway, so the Lions won't have to worry about him at all. Check out the Shop Talk Rundown. Here's what's coming up. More Shop Talk is on the way. Stick and stay, Detroit. For the latest in computer technology for Mac and PC, check out Southfield Computer Outlet, 28901 Southfield Road, or call them at 248-557-2222. If you're looking for a used car, come on down to Bob Maxey Ford on Jefferson in downtown Detroit. Pick up the phone and call Zach and the crew at 888-396-396. 6081. And mention Shop Talk and get an extra $500 off your trade in. Serving up hot fashions and style, it's the Restaurant Fashion Bistro Boutique at 18236 West 10 Mile Road in Southfield. Give them a call at 313 449 3603. Open seven days a week. You want to keep your car moving? Come to Royal Oak Auto Care. It's the complete auto repair center. Domestic, European, Asian, no matter what make or model, you want to come and see them. 31313 Woodward Avenue in Royal Oak. Located next to Dugan's Irish Pub or call 248-629-7576. The best haircuts in Detroit are at Sporty Cuts. Home of the $10 all-even haircut. Hey, Teak, don't take too much off. Come on! Seven mile between Outer Drive and Myers, Sporty Cuts. Looking for t-shirts, clothing, and gifts? Well, check out t-shirtpalace.com. Shop t-shirts or create your own design and upload it. Go to t-shirtpalace.com and get started. Now it's time for Homeboy Highlights. This week's homeboy is Detroit Lion wide receiver Calvin Johnson. He punished the Bears secondary and rookie cornerback Kyle Little Brother Fuller. Johnson beat Chicago's defense with a variety of routes at all levels. From short curls against his own coverages to slicing between the corner and a safety on a go route from the slot on a 25-yard score. 
He finished a 34-17 victory with a season-high 11 receptions for 146 yards and two touchdowns. Congratulations, Megatron. You are this week's homeboy. Homeboy Highlights is sponsored by Detroit's new ABA team, the Coast to Coast All-Stars. Check them out at DetroitCoastToCoast.com. On Monday, Michigan fired head coach Brady Hoke. So now their search is on for a new football coach in Ann Arbor. Aside from Jim Harbaugh, who is, of course, the number one choice out there by most Michigan fans, who would you want to see Michigan get to be that uh, new head coach? There's other names out there. Uh, John Harbaugh, Les Miles. Who would be your number one choice? They did know him from in 07. They did know him from in 2011. The third time's a charm. Go down to LSU, get Les Miles. He recently is uh, his last defensive coordinator when they won the national championship. Bo Pelini, he's now free. Bring him back, make him the highest paid coaches in the country, and rebuild this program in three years. Okay. How about you? Who you, who you, who you like, Julian? You gotta go. You gotta go with John Harbaugh. He's a he's a winning coach. He knows what it takes to win. He's one on he's one on the NFL level. Uh, went on Super Bowl and NFL level, coached some of the greats in Ray Lewis. Um, so you got you to go with John Harbaugh. And John Harbaugh and them grew up in Ann Arbor, so they know the culture, they know about the school, they know about the history. Who you got, T? Uh, Les Miles. Les Miles. You know what? Why Les Miles? I mean, because he's a, he's a proven winner. He's a proven coach. You know won a saying? championship. Check his history. You know what I'm saying? Fact checker. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is... He wear he wear the headphones. Oh, okay, so you yeah, like you know that, right? I like that, and you better understand what's going on on the field, knowing that his quarterback just had a concussion, a major hit, and he's going he's going to take. Boy, you coming down hard on Brady Hoke? Yeah, huh? yeah, Brady Hoke, long time coming. Well, but I, but I'll say this about Les Miles: played for Bo, right? So he's a Michigan man, and he's won a national championship already, right? So he has a lot of the things that you would like. How about you, Mo? Where are you well, on? I think you should go outside the box and not get a, a big name brand uh, type of head coach. You should go find somebody that's hungry for it, like an offensive coordinator that worked under one of the big names, and let him start to make his name for himself. That's how you know that when they're really hungry, they're gonna they're gonna uh, they're gonna show something, have something to show and prove for it. Like, okay, I have never been on this type of uh, level right now. But can so, Michigan do that, considering where they are? That can they roll the dice? To me, they gotta hit a home run in this one. You gotta galvanize and get the fans back into it. We saw crowds of less than 100,000 a couple of games this year at the Big House. Yeah, they'll never admit it, but there was definitely less than 100,000. Our thing is, they don't have to get a guy that's going to be there for 20 years right now. They just got to get somebody to turn the ship in the right direction. And then that way, once you finally have a job that's desirable, some talent in the cupboard, then you can go after some bigger name guys. The only reason I think Les Miles is I really think Les Miles wants to coach at Michigan. He's kind of wor he's worse for wear at LSU now. I think it's, I think at the time is if they, it would have been perfect 2011, but right now it's a little bit late. But get him for two three years, rebuild it, and then boom. David Shaw, Stanford. Anybody on his bandwagon? After watching him coach mm. the Rose Bowl against Michigan State. Oh, look. no! <laughs> I think one game. The guy has a great record at Stanford. He's done a great job. He would be coach. and he would be a brother, right? That they would hire at uh, Michigan. Out the box. Yeah. Well, he'd be, he'd be out in a year. Oh, oh, wow. You don't, you don't be, Speaking of Rich Rod, it is weird for Michigan that on, on the, the, the same day that they fired Brady Hoke, Rich Rodriguez was named uh, uh, Pac-10 Coach of the Year. That's poetic. kind of amazing. It was poetic, no doubt about it. So you know what? Probably would be Harbaugh, Jim, or John. More Shop Talk is on the way. Stick and stay, Detroit. The sports writing world lost a giant this past week with the death of Brian Burwell. He was 59 years old after a short battle with cancer. Brian Burwell, of course, was a longtime sports columnist with the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. He worked at the Detroit News, USA Today, the Daily News in New York, and New York Newsday. I worked with Brian in New York, and he will be missed. He was definitely a great brother. If you're looking for a used car, come on down to Bob Maxi Ford on Jefferson in downtown Detroit. Pick up the phone and call Zach and the crew at 888-396-6081. And mention Shop Talk and get an extra $500 off your trade-in. 
For the latest in computer technology for Mac and PC, check out Southfield Computer Outlet, 28901 Southfield Road, or call them at 248-557-2222. You want to keep your car moving? Come to Royal Oak Auto Care. It's the complete auto repair center. Domestic, European, Asian, no matter what make or model, you want to come and see them. 31313 Woodward Avenue in Royal Oak, located next to Dugan's Irish Pub, or call 248-629-7576. Miles Jackson at Eyes on the Prize says, you know what? I'll sign a league minimum deal with the Pistons and contribute something. These guys are horrible. Hashtag stank. If you want to trash anyone or anything in sports, hit us up on our Twitter. Time to change gears. Here's hip hop news. Hey everyone, it's your girl L. Beasley, and here's the latest in hip hop news. Now that former Baltimore Ravens player Ray Rice has been reinstated to the NFL, the question remains, will any team add the running back to their roster? TMZ asked California rapper The Game if he would want Rice to play for his favorite franchise. He revealed he would love to have Ray Rice line up for the San Francisco 49ers, but in his opinion, the NFC West team doesn't need another running back, at least at the moment. Would you be open to your team adding Rice to their roster? In other news, after creating that album based upon a previous character, actor Idris Elba has decided to try it again, announcing a new album based on John Luther, a police detective with a dark past that Elba currently plays in the BBC crime drama Luther. Elba first got the idea after his portrayal of Nelson Mandela in Long Walk to Freedom, which inspired him to record Me Mandela, which features Mumford & Sons, James Black, and more. He's previously collaborated with Music Soul Child and fellow Brit Estelle. The album has tentatively been titled Murder Loves John. And finally, is Young Money rapper Lil Wayne now affiliated with the Universal Zulu Nation? According to a Twitter message from Q-Tip of A Tribe called Quest, that may be the case. Tip posted a tweet on November 26th that asked his followers to welcome Little Tucci, aka Little Wayne, to Zulus. The New York native has long been associated with the hip hop awareness group started by the legendary Africa Bambata. Q Tip's next album is currently scheduled to be titled The Last Zulu. If Wayne has teamed up with the Zulu Nation, he joins other prominent rappers with close ties to the worldwide movement like Rakim, KRS One, Public Enemy, Ice Cube, De La Soul, and many more. All right, that's the news. I'm your girl, L. Beasley. See you next week. It's Shop Talk's Cut of the Week. Yo, what up? Uh, it's your man Small right here, man. We got the cut. We got the t all even. The tape in the back. Crispy strap line on it. Put the razor on it. He's ready for today. Got the 360 spinning. Drop along sideburns, crisp chopper line front, across the front, a nice blend in the back. Now it's time for No Way, No How, where we preview the Lions' upcoming game this week. This week we welcome in Martin, one of the football lovers here in the shop, No Way, No How. We're talking about the Lions against the Tampa Bay Bucks. Paper, Martin, it's a layup, right? Tampa 2-10, and ten. Lions just rolled over the Bears on Thanksgiving. What do you think? I mean, on paper, you're right. This is a game you think the Lions are going to win, you know, no question. It's going to be a little bit tougher, though, Tampa Bay. They're 2-10, but they've played a lot of teams real tough. They lost to Cincinnati, 14-13. They, uh, after, before beating Washington, they lost another one in overtime. They took Minnesota to overtime. It's a lot of bad luck in Tampa Bay to make that 2-10 record happen. And people should remember, last year in a game also the Lions needed to win at home against Tampa Bay. They lost 24-21 and were shocked. I mean, it was a big win for Tampa Bay, a bad loss for the Lions. But let's talk about the Lions and what they did on Thanksgiving Day. They dismantled the uh, D 
defensively poor Bears, and they did what they needed to do. And we finally saw Matthew Stafford have a good game, like, almost from the start. I mean, it, was, it couldn't have come at a better time, too, especially after not scoring an offensive touchdown in two games. I think something like 24 possessions without an offensive touchdown, and they come out, and they really poured on a bad Bears team. You know, and really that's the type of offensive performance they're going to need to beat this Tampa Bay team. They're 25th defensively, but, I mean, the Lions aren't that good offensively either. So, right. so they're going to need to put some happens. points on the board. All right, time for our uh, predictions. And what do you got for a prediction on this game? See, I got it. I think the Lions are going to win, man. I think it's a different Lions team, different Lions regime. I'll give them 27 to 14. All right, and uh, brace yourself for the shop as I make my prediction. I have the Lions 21 and Tampa Bay 17. You sure? Oh. What? Are you sure? Get out of here. <laughs> More shop talk is on the way. Stick and stay, Detroit. For the best sports coverage on the web, go to theshadowleague.com. Coverage with a cultural perspective. Check it out. If you're looking for a used car, come on down to Bob Maxey Ford on Jefferson in downtown Detroit. Pick up the phone and call Zach and the crew at 888-396-6081. And mention Shop Talk and get an extra $500 off your trade-in. Looking for t-shirts, clothing, and gifts? Well, check out t-shirtpalace.com. Shop t-shirts or create your own design and upload it. Go to t-shirtpalace.com and get started. For the latest in computer technology for Mac and PC, check out Southfield Computer Outlet, 28901 Southfield Road, or call them at 248-557-2222. Serving up hot fashions and style, it's the Restaurant Fashion Bistro Boutique at 18 236 West 10 Mile Road in Southfield. Give them a call at 313-449-3603. Open seven days a week. Now it's time for At The Movies with Greg. Hi, Reese. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I said we should do all of them like this. I know. It's think? so nice to be outside. It is. It? it really, really is. And also, it just makes you think about, you know, like in the movie with all the walking. Yeah. I mean, I did my little walk here. It just felt so great. Yeah. Well, that movie, I think, inspires you to get outside and yeah. get moving. But even if you don't like hiking, there's so much in this movie that's about love and loss mm -hmm. and dealing with them. You know, when you feel completely broken, how you can put yourself back together again. Right. Because now for you, I mean, not only are you acting in the movie, but you're also the producer. Yeah. So, what, you read the book and just thought, my goodness, what a great story. Well, Cheryl sent me the book in galleys before it was published, and I just flipped out. I read it in 24 hours on the airplane. Oh, wow. I called her the next day. I said, can I get this lady's phone number? Because I have to hug her. I don't know her, but this is the most amazing book. When you watch it, everybody, I think, can take a piece out of it, you know, in their yeah. own life. Because... Bugs. I know. It's like, that's the thing about being outside. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, you see this, and even with her walking, she meets so many different individuals, you know, through the walk, so many different yeah. characters, like we all do in real life. Yeah. It's so many different it's, people. Yeah, and it's great how you kind of learn from the people who are on this journey with you. Yeah. You know, I, I like that idea that we get little pieces of wisdom from everyone we meet in our lives. At the Movies with Greg is sponsored by Nick's Chips. Grab a bag and enjoy. Here's the Instagram shop of the day. Check out the Anointed Touch Beauty and Barbershop located at 235 Inkster Road in Inkster, Michigan. Give them a call at 734-556-2590. If you want your shop featured, hit us up on our Instagram account, Shop Talk TV. Now it's time for the debate challenge. 
Let's welcome in Jason Beck from MLB.com. Of course, he covers the Tigers. Jason gets his hair cut at Supercuts in Royal Oak. Jason, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. And, of course, Max Scherzer, one of the big free agents out there. Of course, the Tiger pitcher, who's now free to uh, get a deal anywhere. And, uh, you know, there's talk from his agent that maybe they might double back and take a look at the Tigers, and there's still a door opening for maybe him to sign back in Detroit. Jason, would you do it if you were the Tigers? You're already offering him $150 million, and he turned you down. I think if the bidding doesn't get crazy, I, I think you have to consider it because you, know, you don't know if you're going to be able to keep David Price. You don't know if you're going to be able to keep Rick Porcello. Every indication right now is that uh, David Price intends to test the market, you know, see if he can set a new standard uh, you know, for, uh, for contract for pitchers coming off of whatever happens this winter. You know, Rick Porcello's got a chance to hit the market at 26, 27 years old. You know, heaven knows what the market's going to be for him. I think the enticement's there. If you lose those two and you don't have Scherzer, you know, that rotation is decimated. Yeah, but Jason, I, I got to stop you because I just think, look, they went out and got Price to replace Scherzer. He's already on your rotation, at least for this coming year. The Tigers have bigger issues than just the starting rotation. If you don't fix that bullpen and you don't add guys on the bench who can play and hit for you, it doesn't matter what your rotation is. We saw that this year with three side Young Award winners in the rotation. Yeah, but yeah, I think there's a sentiment within the industry that as big of a role as bullpen played in the uh, playoffs this year, that it might have been a little bit of an anomaly, that you know, the role of starting pitchers might have been just a little bit underplayed, at least on the American League side. I think what you saw with the Giants with Madison Bumgarner and what he was able to, to mean you know, to the Giants in their series, I, I think kind of goes back to what the traditional thinking is, which is that, yeah, bullpens are important and you've got to have a bullpen you can trust, but if you don't have a starting pitching staff that can get you leads in the sixth, seventh innings, it doesn't really matter. You Jason, just got to have I, the starters. I, I, I hear you, and, I, and, and you, you make valid points. You didn't win this debate because I just saw Kansas City's bullpen carry it all the way to the World Series. Tigers need bullpen help. Tigers need guys on the bench. That's what they need more than Max Scherzer at $200 million. Thanks for joining us, and uh, maybe next time. Thanks, Rob. Good debating with you. Now it's time for a segment we call What You Sporting? What You Sporting is sponsored by the Restaurant Fashion Bistro on 10 Mile and Southfield Road. We have a rematch from last week. We have Brandon. Mr. Parker, how you doing? Cool. And JB. What's up, Ryan? Let's not forget last week, Brandon was a little salty when he lost to JB. Should what You lost. Sporting today? So I got on, you know, something light. Got on Hirachi 5-5 five, five joints. 92, 22-year-old sneaker that retro this year. Had to go to Chicago and pick them up. These fresh out the box right here. Those Something are sweet. Like JB, what you sporting? Today I'm sporting the Gray Toe 13 Jordans. You know, true red. Got these. These are the real official fresh out the boxes right here. <laughs> yeah. Wow, both are nice. All right, both put your feet up there. Hey, man, don't scuff my horizon. Uh -huh. you know hey, y'all be careful now. Don't get rough in here. Just a barbershop. And last week, JB, you were the winner. Uh, and Brandon, you know what? Fab Five, put your foot down, JB. No, Fab I'm Five saying. retros, yeah. I'm feeling yeah. those. Yeah. That's our show for this week. Hope to see you next week and enjoy that Pistons 76ers game. I don't think I'm going to the Palace.